What is up, Helldivers? Sly Spy Gaming here, and we just got some giant news about the new upcoming Warbond coming to Helldivers 2. In this video, we'll be discussing the new Cutting Edge Warbond, which includes some pretty incredible cosmetic sets, new primary and secondary weapons, as well as a shocking new grenade that is sure to change the meta game. Before I dive into all of the new items coming in the Cutting Edge Warbond, I just wanted to take a second to invite you all to come and join me Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, where I live stream tons of games like Helldivers and more. Without further ado, let's jump into everything that is coming in the new Helldivers 2 Cutting Edge Warbond. So diving right into it, first up, let's talk about the new armors that you'll be strapping into. The Cutting Edge Warbond comes stacked with the new EX series prototype armor sets, which not only look pretty cool, but based on the descriptions given, may even provide some passive buffs as well for the user. While Arrowhead has not divulged any of this information just yet, we can kind of take a guess as to what buffs may be given with these armors, such as with the EX03 prototype. This armor's description states that it has a rubber underlayer for insulation, which could indicate that you do get upgrades to your electrical damage resistance. Hence, making the Tesla Sentry or Arc Thrower a much better option when diving into hell. Additionally, the EX-16 prototype describes the armor as generating a strong magnetic field, which could provide a similar buff as the shield generator, which deflects bullets and missiles. The third armor set, the EX-00 prototype, doesn't really give too much information away, but only says that it aims to be the ultimate armor for the soldier of tomorrow. What do you think that this could represent in terms of special buffs? Let us know in the comments below. Moving on to some of the new weapons we'll be seeing in the Cutting Edge Warbond, starting with the LAS-16 Sickle. This new primary weapon is a burst fire laser rifle that doesn't consume traditional ammo but can overheat if the handler isn't careful about managing their shots. Next on their list of new primary weapons is the SG-8P Punisher Plasma. This is a modified version of the Punisher shotgun that instead fires exploding plasma rounds. Some people are arguing that this could become the new meta shotgun and could potentially overtake the SG-225 Breaker which was recently nerfed in one of their latest patches. The last major primary that was mentioned as being in this new Warbond is the ARC-12 Blitzer. The ARC-12 Blitzer is a new short range weapon that shoots lightning bolts similar to the ARC-3 Arc Thrower. This could be another indication that more electrically resistant armor could be showcased in the upcoming Warbond. In addition to those three primary weapons, there was also a secondary weapon that was mentioned to be in this upcoming Warbond as well, and that is the LAS-7 Dagger Pistol. The LAS-7 Dagger will be an energy-based sidearm that fires a laser similar to guns like the Laser Cannon. While the LAS-7 Dagger will most likely not be as powerful as other firearms, I'm assuming that it will be a weapon without ammunition, which could actually help in the event that your primary runs out of ammo. Lastly, they did mention a new grenade that will be making its way into Helldivers 2 called the G-23 Stun Grenade. This new grenade featured in the Warbond could be a major game changer to the meta game. While most grenades are okay at best, the new G-23 Stun Grenade allows divers to stun groups of enemies for a short time. This time could be used for a hasty retreat, it could be used to call in some stratagems more accurately, or even move into a more advantageous position to deliver the full force of democracy. In addition to these new weapons and armors, there are also a slew of other miscellaneous items that are worth covering as well. And while there hasn't been a full list of what will be added, here are a couple of the major miscellaneous items that have been mentioned. In addition to the new weapons and armors, we also get some new cosmetics such as three new capes. Because as you know, every hero needs a cape, or three, to look their best on the battlefield. In addition to these three new capes, we'll also be getting three new player cards, as well as three new emotes for sure. In addition, I'm sure that we will also be seeing some new boosters, as well as a couple stashes of super credits that will be added onto the Cutting Edge Warbond as well. There you have it, Helldivers. The Cutting Edge Warbond will be dropping March 14th, so make sure that you're saving up those super credits while you can. As usual, I will have an update on this when the Cutting Edge Warbond actually releases, so make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button so that you're aware when I drop my breakdown video of everything that is actually added, as well as all the buffs on the armors, weapons, and so forth. Also, don't forget to join me on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, where I live stream some of your favorite games. Thank you all for watching, Helldivers, and I will see you next time. This is Sly Spy Gaming, signing out.